As I get closer to the end of Stormblood, it's time for me to unlock Eureka. So I come here to Rogger's Reach and accept, and we shall call it Eureka from Gallien Galliana. And this will send me to Kugani. I don't know why we start here in Rogger's Reach and head to Kugani instead of having the blue quest start in Kugani. Want me to spend my gill. So once you get to Kagane, you head over to the, the port. You talk to Koto Kaze. Then you go down to Pier 1 to turn in the quest. And you turn it into Geralt, our relic man. Give you a story about the relic and about 2000 yeah. yeah. And so that easily you unlock Eureka. I'll be doing this slowly over the coming weeks, unlocking it. Sorry. Yeah, the first there's four tiers to Eureka. The first one is Animos. I'm not going to go hardcore into unlocking every zone my key is to use Eureka to gain free challenge logs so I can get the so I can cap out my up for challenge logs each week and you okay. I'll add that in a second so when you get to Eureka you'll want to talk to Kryle and this will unlock the storyline for Eureka. And then you need to talk to Garal, who will unlock your relic weapon. I'm not gonna be doing the relic weapon on this account. I've already done it on my main, but it's still, it's fun. I'm doing this as a key towards making um, weekly gil. Need to talk. Need to unlock the the melder. All right. Once you unlock the melder, you go back to cryo. More story. I believe that's all I need to do to unlock the log. Yes. Okay. So, the key for unlocking Eureka. It, not so much about getting to the end game and getting like my relic done it's more about these logs because I get a thousand per one so I'll be doing this early on until you know help me get my challenge logs done for the week and this is free gill and also it'll help me level I'll go to my plan is to do the logs weekly logs just until I'm level 10. And then at level 10, I'll do feet, I'll do fate farming with it, random people until I unlock the second zone. And then in the second zone, then I'll do, I'll still do my logs and I'll start doing bunny farms because that's another fun way to make gill. Because sometimes you get some really nice things. You don't really get it as much in the second one as you do as in the third and fourth, but it's a beginning. And I'll just continue doing this and using the lockpick guy to unlock, or girl, sorry. Use her to unlock my um, chest that I get from the fates. And yeah, every week I'll just do the logs and that's, it'll help me get to the free 100,000 gil that I can get from, just from doing the logs. Because the easiest ways to unlock I and mean, finish your logs is to come here and do these fates. And then go to the uh, do the battles, and then also go to Golden Saucer. You don't get any gill for doing the Golden Saucers, but all of these can be done. Well, except for the mini games, all of them can be done within like a half an hour on the weekend. You just wait until the weekend, and you can pretty much get everything done in 30 to an hour, and then you just do the mini games as you go along throughout the week. Yeah. And if you do those two, you 
basically done with the challenge logs for the week. And of course, I'm going to be. I am not doing this as much this week, but yeah, usually I have this filled already. And so, yeah, that's an easy 100,000 gil. Just doing Eureka and Gold Saucer and Dungeons, Roulettes. And you can get 100,000 gil just for finishing the challenge log, which is, it sounds daunting to do 30 challenges, but that's not really that much work. So, yeah. I'm gonna now go take care of the logs. There's, yeah, so there's 10 logs. So, and then you get it for a completion. Let's just say that I only do those 10 logs. It's 10,000 for the logs and then 20,000 for doing this. That would be 30,000 just for doing those, those 10 logs here in Eureka alone. That's, and that doesn't take that long. It takes maybe an hour of your day, of your week. And so, yeah, well, I did not do this yet. Make sure you attune. I always forgot. Not that it matters because you can't get here unless you talk to the um, porter in Kagane, but still. I've also been able to get my culinarian up to level 80. And when I was 60 to 70, or sorry. And from 70 to 80, I did a levy quest here in Kugani. The main one you want to do to level from is the 68 to 71. The best is to do fits to a T. It's really simple to make. You make Doman T. And it'll... Doman. Right. And Doman tea is pretty simple to make, especially since my I can gather all this stuff with my botanist. And you turn these in. You can buy them also off the market board. They run about anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200 each at the high quality. You always want to do high quality for a levy quest because you get double the rewards. And by turning in the quest, I got roughly 2,500 times two per turn in. So that's 5,000. And if I buy them off the market board, it costs me, let's say on the expensive side is 1,200. So that's 4,600. So I'm making 400 gil profit and I'm leveling up and I was leveling up my uh, my culinary to level 80 I'm now saving up my levy quest for Shadowbringers where I'll be doing the next levy set of quests for gill making or for uh, gill making there until I get into Inwalker and do the final one so yeah I would do it now but it's not worth it because the XP drops off tremendously, especially when you're over 10 levels above the levy quest. And so, yeah, that was an easy way for me to basically level my culinary for free. And now I'm at, I was at 98 when I did it, so I had to do it. And now I'm down to 22. And you get three, you get six a day. So I'm just letting that fill up again. And if it gets full before I get to Endwalker, I'll do the Shadowbringers, the cookie quest for Shadowbringers. And if I get to Endwalker before it gets full, then I'll just do what everybody else does, which is the side to Vanu turn-ins. These you can usually find on the auction board. Well, you can find them for any price, but usually you want to look for 1200 or below. And you get these and they turn in for roughly 10,000 gil per turn in of three of them. And you can do that infinite amount of time. Well, not infinite. You can do that six times a day or 42 times a week or every 17 days it fills up and that's a million gil. So yeah, that's what the dome and tea is like level one of that version. The next one is cookies. That was another thing that I made sure I got done this week before. Well, before I head on the Shadowbringers, I wanted to get my culinary up to 
at least 78 and I've gotten it up to 80 78 because that way I can do the next um, Dome and T one for Shadowbringers with my levy quest and I unlocked Eureka so with Eureka's with this I made about a hundred thousand gil by the turn-ins and I got the level 80 and then I also made a hundred thousand by doing my logs for Eureka and so that some easy gill making just from those basically a, roughly a quarter million gill just by doing those two things here in Kugane. All right. See you later. Bye.